forget the which verse. Yeah. Some story in the Quran to explain it. Yeah. You need the Hadith. It's true. Who did they worship? Some of them, yeah. Not necessarily Hadith. You can be reading from the from the, the, the from, uh, from, history, uh, like from history. From history as well. I give you an example. Kabari. Kabari is an example. Yeah. But, uh, not the, the, away. So you've got you've got a, 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 a verse in the Quran talking about the Prophet Idris. Okay? Idris, they say in Christianity and Judaism, is a Prophet Enoch. E N O C H. You know Prophet Enoch? So how can I trust Daniel? Let me see. Are you Christian? Are you atheist? Prophet Enoch. Because yes, no, about the uh, I'm, I'm just about the uh, context. I want to think okay. about the. Uh, about the so you're a religion. Christian. He's a Christian. Just to see. Okay. Yeah. So in, in the Bible, the Old Testament and the Jewish Hebrew Bible, you have the Prophet Enoch. Okay. Now, when it talks about this verse in the Quran about Prophet Idris, it says when he died, he died and he went to a high place. That's all it says. Okay. okay. There's no hadith to explain what that means. But when you look at the narration of the Christian and the Jews, they believe that the angel took him to the fourth heaven and the angel of death met him in the fourth heaven and that's where he died. So some people who translate the Quran, explain the Quran, their interpretation is we don't have anything in Islam, no hadith that explains this verse. So they bring the Israeli the, the narration of the Christian and Jews to try and understand it. So that's, an, that's so that's an evidence to you that they're using Christian and Jewish sources to explain a passage in the Quran where there is no hadith to explain it. Let me ask so you, not every verse in the Quran has a hadith you, to explain okay, it. Let me answer you this query that Sahih Hadith, every Muslim must accept Sahih Hadith, otherwise you're not Muslim. Now this is from Bukhari. Look, oh, so you did. Many great scholars says anything goes against common sense in hadith. You reject it as well. Even akal, yeah, nakal, yeah. Anything. Now look at this. This doesn't make any sense. This is from Bukhari, yeah. narrated Amr ibn Mamun. During the pre-Islamic period of ignorance, I saw a she monkey surrounded by a number of monkeys. They were all stoning it because it had committed illegal and sexual intercourse. <laughs> I too stoned it along with them. Now I reject this hadith. First of all, why? Monkey. This is nothing to do with Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He didn't say Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told me. He said, before I became Muslim, I, is a companion who's quoting it, nothing to do with Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to start with. But this is in Bukhari. Secondly, did monkeys do uh, say, uh, illegal sexual intercourse? Did monkeys stone those people who dance zina? Did monkeys do that? And even if they do, how he knows that they were doing that? The monkeys told him that as well. This is against the, the common sense, against the akal. So that's why uh, scholars like Suyuti and Ibn Hazm, they say anything, they have three principles. Anything goes against akal, anything goes against Quran and Sunnah, and anything goes against the Islamic principles. Any hadith, we reject it. These scholars saying that. And there's some scholars, they add two other things as well. But what I'm saying is, so what your claim, any Muslim reject a Sahih Muslim or Bukhari Sahih Hadith is not a Muslim, this is this has claim has no legs. Because what, there's, there's nothing yeah, what like I'm that. Saying, so like scholars what like I'm Sheikh Al-Bani. So I, I am the one who rejects Hadith, uh, no, these, but saying, there's a reason why I reject I never heard a not all Muslim hadith. who reject that Muhammad but had sex no, 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 with, you know that with Aisha yeah. when she was hadith, nine years old. This is what I'm saying. You understand? You are the only one Muslim who I find. When they were throwing stones, they were just they, they weren't doing it. You are the only Muslim who told me that, man. Because I have a lot of yeah. friends, Muslim, they were Sunni, just stones, and they say me, yeah, this is true. Yeah. He saw it, and he, so, he tried to. Um, he I don't know he what, they were throwing, uh, what kind of what kind of They were doing matter. like stoning. So that's what about it. Isn't it? So that, although that, okay. He's the first Muslim who told me the Prophet Muhammad, he never, he never had sex uh, yeah, with Aisha when she was nine years old. I say you are the only single one who I meet in my life. They are, yes. so that's why he made that hadith. But authentic probably, somebody bring your authentic because the chain is healthy. Yeah, the chain is Probably the chain is But matan, matan means this debatable, is it authentic or not? But look, this is in Bukhari. Now, what is this? We can't use this. So what I'm saying, there are many reasons we can get. For example, I'll give you another, another. In Sahih Bukhari and Muslim, there are three hadiths. How old was Muhammad when he died? 
Why poison? No, no, no. How old? How, no, no, we're not talking about how old. No, I said how old? 63. He said how old? 63. 63. I show you hadith, which one hadith says he was 60, one says 65, and one says 63. Can all these three be right? Yeah, yeah but what doesn't so matter what, what, the number is, is the way no, 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 he is. No, 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 brother, no, it's not the no, way. No, no. How old was he? This is the one to so One hadith says 60, yeah, yeah, yeah. 165, 165. They cannot be all true. So one, and they're three all authentic, Sahih so hadith. Right. You want to show you, I can show you right now. Yeah, so she was 18. All so one, she was 18. goes when against common sense and contradicts. We can reject Sahih hadith. This is not that you are not Muslim. Let me show you this, brother. But of course, I'm not rejecting all hadith. But what I'm saying, when I reject the hadith, it has to be a good reason. And, but I was telling him, no, I, these people I understand do, the reason. Collect. He rejects when he contradicts the Quran. That's what we want, we want to say. Quran, Sunnah, exactly. even, even common sense. I understand. Even common sense or even established practice. Now, why I reject the hadith of Aisha was 9? That's second. First of all, you need to understand even hadith says Sahih, there are Sahih Mutawatir and Sahih Akbar Ahad. Akbar Ahad means come from only one person. In the chain, there's only one person. Mutawatir means there are many companions quoting it. Abu Huraira says that, Ali bin Abi Talib says that, Umar Azi Allah says that, all saying the same thing, that become Mutawatir. And something called Akbar Ahad. Now this hadith of Aisha Razi Allah was nine years old when he had sex. It comes from one person in the middle called Hisham. Yeah. Who was the son of Urwa? Urwa was the nephew of Aisha Razianana. And this hadith that she was nine only come from Aisha. Aisha, narrated by Aisha. But first of all, did she say that? Urwa is telling us she says that. Urwa's son Hisham is telling us she says that. Now very interesting point here is this Hisham, this hadith is quoted about 15 times in the in Sahih. Bukhari and Abu Dawud, 15 times roughly. And then also, before Muslim, Muhammad, yeah. another man wanted to marry Aisha. This man here? Which just proves that. Which just Sheikh proves that. Sheikh Dr. Sufayn Ali? Because before Muhammad, another man wanted to marry Aisha, remember? She was in the tomb. How could she be a teenager? She was a teenager. She was a teenager. She was a teenager. When Aisha married Muhammad. So you said you don't know two Muslims? I've shown you now two Muslims. And they both. How many Muslims? Now is how many Muslims? <laughs> no, 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 let, let me. I, I was saying something in the middle. Because I like when Muslims say we have only one Quran and we are all Muslims. Uh, you know? No, they they say we are a billion, five billion, but he, he, Islam is not Catholicism. Are, Islam, Islam is not like the Catholic Church. We don't have a Pope who gives the rule. When they say five billion it. or two billion Muslim, they caught the. the um, uh, not Sunni, the. Ahmadis. Shia? Uh, the Shia as well. You are not? But, uh, but if, if you take Shia out, it's more listen, down, you listen, understand? Listen, listen, listen. Yeah, less, yeah, less, let, me, yeah, let, me, less. let me make one quick but point. The let, let, me, let me tell you something, okay? Yeah, Sunni, You're talking yeah. about the Muslims di um, having a difference of opinion. Yes? But the thing is, the thing is, what makes yes? Muhammad... Yes? You, know, you, you have only one Quran and, and well, one uh, the prophet is prophet because Muhammad. We are, we are, we are, what he did, he did. Difference of opinion, yeah? Okay. When I mentioned the full schools of thought, I mean, mm -hmm. the Maliki, the Hamli, the Shafi, and the, the Hanafi, you, you, you've never heard of them before. Your understanding of basic Islamic principles is nearly zero. So for you to make comments on two billion Muslims, I'm afraid you have no authority to make it. Because your basic understanding of the fundamentals of how Muslims derive and come to opinions about Islam is very limited. So you, I'm afraid you don't have the authority to make that claim. Because when I say the four, the school, the four men have, you, you don't know what I'm talking about. You never heard of Ibn Malik. You never heard, have, you know, you never heard of Ahmed Ibn Hanbal. You have never heard of Ash-Shafi. And you never heard of Abu Hanifa. No, you know what I'm learning today is like, is like you are the first Muslim who rejects Sahih. And who rejects that Muhammad had sex with nine years old. With Aisha when she was nine years old. No, I don't accept that. She married her when she was six and she consumed her when she was nine. Okay. So you are the first Muslim right now who I heard that. Okay. So I don't what what I don't know what kind of Muslim are you. Okay. That what I'm. He was talking that about. That is the only thing. Okay. Explain to me what makes a Sahih hadith. Tell me. Is authentic. Sahih is authentic. No, I know. Is authentic is something we cannot reject. No, no, no. You're not, you're not, you're not answering my question. Yeah. Sahih translated into English is authentic. authentic. How do we know what makes an authentic hadith? How do we know it's authentic? Tell me. How did you, you, you are the Muslim, you, you have to explain. You didn't, didn't say this, then you're calling him a liar. When you say you can't reject Sahih Hadith, that means.
because you don't know what Sahih Hadith is. When you say something authentic, you cannot reject because that's why you you call him Sahih or authentic. No, who said? Otherwise, you cannot call him authentic, isn't it? It's not from Allah and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah, it's the it's the work of the human being. And human being. Yeah, but why you put Sahih? No, authentic. What I'm saying is, human being can be right and can be wrong. So this this is the work of human being. Yeah, but my question is, why you call them Sahih? Why you call him authentic? Very simple to answer this question, my dear. Which we talked about right at the beginning when I joined you. Because this is not authentic. You cannot say Sahih, reject it, or don't put That's why scholars did, scholars did, scholars did reject it. Funda fundamentally, the only authentic scripture Muslims have is the Quran. Yes, only that. Fundamentally, that is without flaw. Fun without, any, without any flaw. One hundred and ten percent. As a Muslim, we believe the Quran is one hundred and two hundred and five hundred percent authentic. Mm -hmm. Anything else? That's, that supports the Quran or any other scripture or literature. It's like he said, it's a human being's attempt. Is any miracle from Allah in the Quran? To understand it. Miracle of yeah. Allah. To believe is from God. Because otherwise, for me, it cannot be from God. If it, not, if it doesn't exist any miracle in this book. If you, are, if you go only from the Quran, that, that's what you are saying. What, what do you want from that? Like, you mean Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam miracle? Because Allah, well, Allah, Allah give a miracle or a sin to, to prophet, to his prophet. Well, I, Allah did give a falsification test in the Quran. Meaning, which, which which says, if this book is from anybody other than Allah, yeah. there are bound to be a contradiction. contradiction yeah, exactly. That's a falsification test. So if you prove that test that the Quran has a contradiction, then you prove the Quran is not authentic. Yeah. Because Quran, so that's a falsification, is falsification is test. Is there any contradiction in the Quran? No, no. 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 And I spoke to your uh, your Christian uh, many times about that. As they prove one because contradiction. Because Allah say four days he create and then in the other he verse he say for six so days. Jesus so he doesn't Jesus say four days. No, he no, no, no. He claim is six days and eight days. That's the claim. Yeah. Not four days. Sorry, yeah, yeah. six and six eight. Six and eight days. My, yeah. yeah, there is no eight days. There's a six days. Allah say many times yeah, six days. But say in the other verse, other thing, and in the other in in one verse he say. When you guys pray for us and Zakhir. We just in the park, in that direction. Yeah. Or anyway, the way you talk about it is that direction. You have to take singly or something. No, just, just the own. Just the own. Yeah. He knows. He knows. So um, I think uh, you are quoting uh, chapter 41, isn't it? He creates first the earth, no, uh, the heaven, and then he go for no. He gets, Have you read it yourself? Uh, you see, this I, is I remember a conversation from Christian Prince and you. That's why so I'm quoting the, that. I, I didn't remember for me because I, you know, I, I love to advise you when you. He, he tells you something. I go, I go to check yeah. that and I find that. Did you check? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you, so, so you look into that what it says. Yeah. No, it, it doesn't say. Or it, like an example, when Prophet Muhammad say, "I am the last prophet who I can," and then we find Jesus coming back again because Jesus for you is a prophet. This is a contradiction. Uh, like he, he say he's the seal of the prophets. Huh? Seal, seal of the prophets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so seal of this the is not a contradiction because when I say I'm the last prophet, so nobody come for me next. But we find that like Jesus is coming again back. So no, this is contradiction no, no, for me. No, it's not. It, it okay. says, meaning Jesus was already born before Muhammad Yeah. He doesn't say. He say last prophet means no one will born after him. So Jesus is already old prophet. Mm -hmm. Jesus already came before him. And is he gonna come so, with what? He yeah. what? So in that sense, he say I am the last prophet. No prophet after me. Doesn't mean because Jesus lived longer than him. That doesn't mean that Jesus is the last prophet. Jesus born before Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In that sense, he says, there's no prophet after me, meaning and no one is born after him. And a new revelation. Yeah. So Jesus was already born and Jesus already came to this world. So you need to understand he is not saying that. And also Quran didn't say that. Can I say something? Yeah. Quran didn't say Jesus coming back. Do you know that? Quran didn't say that. There's a hadith says. Mm -hmm. And there's a, there's a debate. So are you that. believe that Jesus will come back? Okay. Uh, now you put me on the spot now. Yeah. yeah. So I am on that, those people who at the moment I am on 50-50 on that. I'm 50-50 on that. Because Quran never make that claim that Jesus is coming back. Yeah? So hadith That's says, why I'm asking you that. Because says, if so you go only for the, from the Quran, because that's what I have to I, and say I'm to me. I'm very honest with you right now. Very honest with you. I am at that at last junction, I'm 50-50 yeah. on that. Is it Jesus coming back or but not? I, he may all be, Muslims maybe not. say, yeah, we, we, we wait, uh, Isa is coming back. That's why I say I'm not rejecting it, neither, neither I'm, because there is a word used. So then you, you have to go Muta from... Fika, for Muta uh, Fika is used about the Jesus. Yes, we, we will take him. Yeah, we will give you death and all, and there are other things as well. But I, I'm working on that. 
I'm working on that. But I am of those because it's Hadith Quran never said. My, 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 brother, my brother maybe disagree with me on that. But what I'm saying is even Jesus come back, he's not going to bring new law. He's going to follow the Sharia of Islam. So, so anyway. Let's so you believe he will come back? If you, if you quote that, if you say me that. If you come uh, did I say, so you believe did I say in, that in, I, yes, I, I, okay. I maybe uh, I'm not 100% sure. So Islam is 50 50. You don't know. No, you are Islam. Confused, no, it's so not, no, I'm not Islam. Because it's you say me, it's I'm me. 50 -50. It's me saying okay. that. It's me saying that. Because I, you get in trouble I, I could, or what? I could be right, I could be wrong on that. No. But what I'm saying that, no, Islam is not. It's, Islam did say that what he said, that, but the scholars have different opinions about it. Right? right? Yeah, I know. Uh, because this uh, EDL people came here. So. My Quran challenge stands. There's no contradiction in the Quran. Show me one contradiction. But do you know that your Bible has a lot of many contradictions? Do you know that? Many contradictions, like uh, many errors in the Bible, like uh, fabrications. For example, Jesus, uh, that adult story of adulterous woman, that is not in the original text. That's interpolation. Mm -hmm. And even uh, one John five seven, there are three in heaven: Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. That is also interpolation. Mark's last eight verses of Mark, that is also addition. Many scholars are telling us these are additions. So, and and Bible have contradictions, of course, uh, like uh, you know Jesus resurrection story. There are contradictions. Yeah, but this is, this is a true story. No, they they contradict. They contradict with each because other. Because he say, say that. And also the Jesus book. No, no, books of the book of Hebrew. Who write books of book of Hebrew? Nobody knows who write. But who, who write Quran? No, no, no. I'm asking. asking you know, now because asking, a book anyway. No, no, I'm asking you a question now. Do you yeah. agree that your Bible has many errors, many interpolations, many books written by anonymous writers? We don't know who write it. Even scholars are telling us book of Hebrews. Nobody knows who write it. So why is in the in the Bible? So when you point a finger towards Quran. No, did no, you, I don't have a finger. I'm you just are. saying because now you Abad, say me I go only for the Quran. You know, and now when I say to you, you believe that Isa will come back, you say I'm 50-50 because now you need you need the uh, you need the the hadith to explain that. Abad, no, you I, I, what I, mean? I said to you, Quran so never says Jesus coming back. But I'm saying yeah, to, that's what yeah, I'm, I'm saying. of that but opinion. Believe that I'm, of that opinion. I'm not saying this way or so that that's way. That's what I'm saying. You are the first Muslim who told me that. I never heard any other Muslim to say me. Uh, Jesus will not come yeah, back. I, I you say you are the first one. You say I'm 50-50. No, I'm not the first one. You understand? But you keep saying you're the only one, you're the only one, you're the only one. You're the only one. To me, that means nothing. Did you believe you, that Isa will come hold again? On, hold on, let me finish my question. Yeah, he will, he will. will come hold, again. He will. Yeah. Yeah. He don't agree with you. No, I'm not saying that. I say I am, I'm on 50-50. Because Quran so never... So you are 50-50? Yes. Yes. So That's which fine. one is true Muslim here? No, maybe... Brother, no. Can I make my point? No, because, because now, example, because I want to conquer your religion. I'm, I'm, Who I have to be if I'm, I have to conquer your religion? I'm working on that. I'm working on that. That is the other point. So I'm being honest here, yeah? I'm working on that. Okay. Okay, this... Abad. So you said because we, we understand that Bible being you know being a DVA got errors and That's stuff, but we, we we never change the you know never change the context. The tenets, I mean, yeah, the, tenets, the right. meaning of Jesus, yeah. yeah? So I don't know where. Did no, you no. Why you follow the Bible which is error, which has errors? Because if you have two thousand years uh, translation, you have so many translation from generation to generation. Of course, you will have a manuscript, you know, manuscript uh, difference. So how, yeah? how do you but, know? But how no, you know? by you the Quran, you you said this is not even change an no, iron, and we know no, no. it's not true. So why you follow? Why you lying? Which, why you follow something which you know it has errors in it? How do you know that that error is not there when they say Jesus is God or Jesus is divine? How do you know that is also not error? Because when you, when you can see the signs are there, the errors are there, interpolated stories are there, fabrications are there. So why are you accepting some? That could be fabrication as well. That's my point. No, no, but it cannot be fabrication. If, if John is written with an, one end, the one is one of you know is most common. There are many as well, but on the, on the interpolation and the spelling He's and some. So, but the meaning of Jesus He's never. John. Ne ne John never the he, he's John. Yeah? He's John. Well, who is John? Well, he, said, he's a he said when John wrote. No, I don't believe that. I don't believe John wrote the gospel. You can there, deny there is, everything after yeah, that. So, show me evidence John wrote John. We don't, we don't know Mohammed if he existed at the end of the day. I'm asking you a question. We don't know where it is. I'm asking you a question. Show me John wrote John. What do you mean? You don't need a signature. How you can How, find that? Exactly. So, so, exactly. This is my point. If I go to a court of law. Yeah. Guys. I, yeah. 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 Yeah.